we went to Deal Street School, four of us in the same class, Francis Cutner, Verity Levy, Barbara Kay, Barbara Goldstein, and we were all about eight years old, and then we went to Brady Direct, straight out of Deal Street School. We're 80 years old, roughly, all of us, and we're still beating up. It is amazing. It's wonderful. That is what the Brady spirit gave us. Not quite a friendship, it's a strangeness. It's um, between, it's hybrid between family and friendship. I, my name was Barbara Goldstein, now Malinsky. Um, I had the most wonderful youth, that's all I can say. We were humble, but we were so happy. We just, everybody, we had the club. It was either that or playing on the bomb site, so we'd rather go to... Do you remember the bomb site in Britain? Yes. Or, yes. Go, or go to the club. So, obviously, we went to the club, met all their friends, who we're still friendly with. Some are living abroad, but we keep in touch. And it, it was... The formative years were absolutely amazing. Everybody was in the same boat. We didn't... She said, my sister's bossing me around, I've got to take my glasses off. She bosses me around, 18 months old, she still bosses me around. Um, I had a wonderful family, wonderful friends, and it was just a marvellous youth, wasn't it? We just, we couldn't want for more. I think I feel sorry, the children today, they've got material, they've got everything, but they never had what we had. Love and support, we could play out in the, in the streets. We played out, we used to go to club, as I said, after school and have a lovely penny tea. Um, we used to have yeah, a slice of bread and jam and one biscuit and uh, a tea. And a wagon wheel. And a wagon wheel if we were lucky. And then we used to go to different classes. It was like religious education. It was drama. It was, I loved gymnastics. I was very good. Wasn't I? I was like the star pupil of gymnastics. <laughs> I was a good runner, a good swimmer. That's the only, the only prize I ever got at school was for PE, and my Rosalind got a prize for needlework. <laughs> Skeet was wonderful, this lovely country house. Seven and six, I think it was seven and six. Well, we, six, ten and six so. we used to go for the weekend. We'd never seen green, green fields, and we'd never seen this wonderful place, this beautiful house. Did it have, have a haunted house? Haunted house, yeah. And we used to climb out the window. Do you remember? There was like a fire escape. So much joy. I think that's why we've all turned into what we've turned into because we had such a good start in life. It, it gave so much life to us, it gave us so much in our lives because we didn't have a lot, materially we didn't have much. Our parents were hard working, my parents had a shop, a little cleaning shop and they were very hard and we didn't have a lot going for us but we did, we had clubs, we used to have once a week, um, we used to go to the club and have a dance social and a lot of the youngsters, I didn't, married people from Brady, ended up getting like Rita and Michael, they got married in the, in the, they was so poor, they couldn't have a wedding, they got married in the club, which was amazing, you know, to have a wedding in the club. Um, I went out market, I'm married to Sam Patil. But the East End was a joy because everybody, as I said, we were all in a, the same position. We, we all had friends, people to talk to all the time. And it was, that's all I can say, Brady was wonderful. With, without it, I don't know what our lives would have been. As I said, it's true, you, it's true isn't it? It's true. Okay, I remember Miriam Moses as a stern woman but she did a lot of good for the community and for, especially for Brady. And uh, we all appreciated her and Yogi, Yogi Man. Yes, he was, he was a wonderful man. He had a great sense of humor. I do remember that. And as Barbara said, you know, without Brady, I don't know where we would be. We were in the same boat. We, all, our families were all on the poor working, you know, working class families in the East End. It was a... I am, An outlet, one for yes, outlet. It, it was, it was, it was. It was just wonderful. I don't know where I would have... I was an only child. So to me, Brady was my... My sisters were there. You know, I mean, these girls, I mean, we're all in, let's face it, we're all in our 80s now. 
let, let's face it, and for us to be uh, seeing each other and talking to each other after all those years, something good happened when we were young, that we have that um, memories. Yeah, memories to, to carry us forward. We also, when we went to ski, we, uh, Yogi would be there because it was not only the girls, it was in later, the boys, it was, and they, were, they had a hard time keeping the boys and the girls separate, I remember that. But there was a lot of, in ski, there was a lot of rooms within rooms. Do you remember the secret passages? There were secret passages in ski. So, of course, you know, kids will be kids, and at night we were all over the place. I lived in what they call Brady Street Mansions, and the boys club, I used to pass it every day on my way to school, on my way home. So, um, I knew it very well. I knew a lot of the boys, they lived in Brady Street Mansions or the buildings. And uh, as Barbara said, you know, without it, I don't know where we would be. You know, the camaraderie, especially, I, I know I'm repeating myself, okay, but being an early child, the camaraderie that, that I gained then and I've gone throughout my life is, is wonderful. I think it was nice to come out of school and go over there and have tea and a doorstep of, of bread and jam. And then we had various activities. We, we had various activities that we could go up and do. Raffia was one of them, and um, there were Hebrew classes. But I didn't used to go because we had it twice a week at school, and I felt that was enough. And um, also, as you went in the door, there was a room on the right, and I particularly loved a, a woman called Leah Green. She was an older lady, but she was a youth leader, and you know she. She entertained us, she kept us going. I, I was very fond of her. Um, and I do remember when the Queen, the Queen's coronation was uh, going on, we put on an exhibition and we sang a song, Elizabeth of England, There is no finer Queen, etc. Unfortunately and sadly, I left the club, but I went on to Oxford St George's, which was another uh, Jewish youth club, and I enjoyed that too. I have seen it. I went to three. Brady was my first one, and the other two we went to at bread and jam and a drink and we would have a lovely social time and our mum would come and pick us up at six o'clock and we would do drama or we would do um, all different things, table tennis, um, and PT, yeah, um, Hebrew, oh yeah, we had Hebrew lessons, that was the juniors and then when we were about 11 or 12 we went into the seniors and that was a whole different sport. Oh, no, 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 no. And then we had wonderful times. I made a lot of fantastic friends. And it was our second home, really. We loved it. We all loved being there. I absolutely loved it. And I couldn't wait for every day to come to go there. And in fact, I was club captain at one time. But what I will tell you was, we had a country house at Ski, and we used to go weekends. And one weekend, a few of us worked on a Saturday, so we used to go on our own and get a train and go to, to ski. Well, one day we got there and it was thundering and lightning and no taxis were going. And all of a sudden this truck come along with 12 new dustbins in it. And he stopped and he said, do you want a lift? So we told him and he took us. So we got in the dustbins one by one, went to ski and when we got there, they were all looking out the window wondering what was happening and one by one we all came out of the dustbins. Do you remember that? Yeah. And we had so much fun. There was girls only weekends and then there was mixed weekends. So we got to be with them. They had the orchards there, didn't they? And we, we just had so much fun in Skeet. And it was like our home from home. We loved it. Jack, it was. We did our own thing. We had to clear the tables. We had to do cooking. Peel potatoes. Peel potatoes. We did. We did everything because we didn't. We loved it so much. We really did. And my Brady days, I've still got friends, close, close friends, that were Brady girls and boys. And um, yeah, it was our life really, up until the age of, I'd say, 16. I just want to say that all the times we went to ski and all the wonderful times we had, when we did go back, 
and see what they've done, they had done to modernise it and upgrade everything and use it for disabled children and also children that came from um, didn't have holidays and they used to take children there for long weekends so they would have a break and the mums and dads would have a break. It wasn't just used for Brady Club after, it was used to help lots and lots of children. Well, I was Shirley Bloom and I'm now Shirley Pollock. Uh, I went to Brady for many years. It was a, really a lifeline for all of us, I think. I remember we used to go straight from school and I used to say, it might seem not much now, bread and, bread and jam, which we were quite hungry probably by the time we got there. And uh, I also went to skeets, which I enjoyed very much. And I remember going to, I remember going to cookery class. I remember going to cookery classes as well. And also we did basket making. Seems I seem to remember. I think I went on a couple of holidays from there, but they were very enjoyable days. And uh, it was very nice, and I made some very good friends there. People that I'm still friendly with today. Where did we go to? Brackish and Bay. And we went on a nice holiday from there, which, which that stands out in my mind. The holiday to Brackish and Bay, Sussex, I think it is. I think we stayed in the school while it wasn't being used during the summer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was very nice. I also can remember Miriam Moses came. But yeah, it's a big part of my life, Brady. I belong to Brady. I think I started going when I was about eight or nine. I didn't go to Deal Street School. I went to Cannon Barnet, which is in Norgate. So we, I had a longer walk to get over there. But usually, at that age, my mum took me. And I continued to go until I was... 14, 15, 16, then I stopped because I was at work and I developed a different friendship group, but kept in touch with all the girls and it still does hold wonderful memories. It made me what I was, what I am today. I think it encouraged you to make friends, develop your own personality, bring out what was good in you and share it. With, with the help of Madam Moses and the wonderful, wonderful Miss Benjamin. Miss Benjamin was one of the loveliest ladies I have ever met. Then and since then, she was terrific. She treated everybody exactly the same. There was no favourites. We were all one big group. And she looked after us all. If ever a family was in need, all you had to do was go to Miss Benjamin and they, she would help you out. I think it put down the basis of what, what, we, what we learned. We learned how to do things, how to behave when we went to the theatre, which we went to quite a lot. We went to the uh, theatre in Theatre Royal in Stratford, originally to see things ain't what, what they used to be with uh, Joan Littlewood was the director there. We went to Drury Lane to see My Fair Lady. It was out of school, it was an, our education. They were golden days, completely. Yeah. And anybody could go. Yeah. What I remembered was everybody was kind. Wherever you lived, somebody would always take you home. The boys, if you knew them or you didn't know them, you were friends with them or not, they would always walk you home to make sure to make sure you were safe. And once a year we went to uh, Parliament Hill Fields, where I think it was the AJY yeah. organised it, their athletics day or weekend, I can't remember. I mean, we high jumped, we long jumped, 
We did everything. <laughs> Conduct. Exactly. Conduct. What? Conduct. Conduct? Yeah. No, we weren't very good at that. You know what we did learn? Oh, you weren't good at that. Oh, thank you so much. Well, Brady was a lifeline to all of us, wasn't it? We wouldn't have had any entertainment or anything without Brady. And, and we made friends and kept friends all these years. We went to a celebration of Brady in the West End in a hotel, and the guest of honour was Frankie Vaughan. And we had a really good time, and in the middle of it all, he was singing. And then we all got up, all us girls, and sang We Are The Brady Girls, and he joined in with his wife. We are the Brady Girls. We are the Brady Girls. We are the Brady Girls.